Pharmacological support with intravenous inotropic drugs is one of the most common forms of organ support for critically ill patients. The aim of inotropic support is to increase tissue perfusion and oxygen delivery, preventing or minimising end organ damage. This presentation will discuss a definition of terms, basic catecholamine pharmacology, commonly used inotropic agents, and how to monitor the effects of inotropic support. An inotrope is any agent that changes myocardial contractility. Drugs may be a positive inotrope or have negatively inotropic effects. A vasopressor is an agent that increases blood pressure. The terms inotrope and vasopressor are in fact used pretty much interchangeably uh, when referring to patients in ICUs. A chronotrope is an agent that changes heart rate. Again, this may be uh, positively or negatively. And a dromotrope is an agent that increases cardiac conduction velocity. The pharmacology of inotropic agents is largely based on the endogenous catecholamine system of the human body. Catecholamines are chemicals with a dihydroxylated benzene ring, known as a catechol group, and an intermediate ethyl chain and a terminal amine. Epinephrine, or adrenaline, is a hormone with effects on multiple sites in the body, mediated via adrenergic receptors. It's a key component of the fight-or-flight response, and it's released by the adrenal medulla in response to activation of the sympathetic nervous system. Norepinephrine, or noradrenaline, is a neurotransmitter widely found in the central nervous system and the sympathetic nervous system and the adrenal medulla. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter, but uh, dopamine receptors are found out with the central nervous system in the kidney and the cardiovascular system, for example in the heart and in the pulmonary artery. The principal cardiovascular effects of inotropic agents are mediated through alpha-1 and beta-1 adrenergic receptors. Alpha-1 receptors are present in vascular smooth muscle. Stimulation causes vasoconstriction of blood vessels in the skin, the gut, the kidney and the brain. Beta-1 receptors are found in the heart. Stimulation causes an increase in heart rate, increased myocardial contractility and increased cardiac impulse conduction velocity. Stimulation of adrenergic receptors has widespread effects around the body, including pulmonary vascular smooth muscle relaxation and effects on glucose metabolism, resulting in an increase in blood glucose. Norepinephrine or noradrenaline is the most widely used vasopressor in UK ICUs. It's a potent alpha-1 adrenal receptor agonist, causing vasoconstriction in many tissue vascular beds. The resultant increase in systemic vascular resistance causes the blood pressure to rise. It is widely used uh, in conditions like sepsis. Noradrenaline also has beta-1 effects. It causes some increase in contractility. It also has a positive chronotropic effect in isolation uh, but in vivo, this is offset by the reflex reduction in heart rate that occurs as SVR and blood pressure increases. In our ICU, noradrenaline is made up in a standard concentration of 4 milligrams in 50 mils and administered by syringe driver. Patients with severe sepsis, uh, this concentration may be increased to 8, 16 or even 32 milligrams in 50 mils if uh, hypotension is profound and resistant to treatment. Epinephrine or adrenaline is also known as nature's vasopressor. Medically it's most commonly used during resuscitation from cardiac arrest and anaphylaxis. 
its principal effects are on alpha-1 adrenal receptors, causing an increase in systemic vascular resistance, on beta-1 adrenal receptors, which causes an increase in heart rate and myocardial contractility, and it also has significant effects on beta-2 adrenal receptors, causing bronchial smooth muscle relaxation. Adrenaline causes transient increases in serum lactate through increased aerobic glycolysis, and this can make evaluation of the effectiveness of resuscitation more difficult in critically ill patients, in whom the serum lactate is often used as a marker of uh, progress in resuscitation. There are also concerns regarding its effect on blood flow in the splanchnic circulation, uh, a result of a paper which can be found in the references at the end of the presentation. Our standard concentration is to make adrenaline up uh, as a 10 milligram and 50 ml solution, that is 0.2 milligrams per ml. Dobutamine is a synthetic catecholamine that was developed by the drug company Eli Lilly. It's an inodilator, which means it causes uh, it's a positive inotrope, cause its increased contractility mediated through beta one stimulation. It also causes uh, an increase in heart rate through beta one stimulation, and this can be associated with significant increases in myocardial oxygen demand. It causes beta-2 mediated uh, vasodilatation, which causes reduction in afterload. This can also cause a reduction in mean arterial pressure, uh, which is common when dobutamine is used and may be quite dramatic. So that noradrenaline is usually needed to offset this beta-2 mediated uh, vasodilatation. Dobutamine's principal use now is in patients with sepsis who have a low central venous oxygen saturation, less than 70%. Uh, this is, its use is based on the results of the REVERS trial of early intervention in patients with sepsis. The butamine in our unit is made up uh, as a 250 milligrams of dobutamine in, in a 50 ml syringe, given a concentration of 5 milligrams per ml. And it's usually used in conjunction with a noradrenaline infusion. Vasopressin, also called antidiuretic hormone, is a peptide hormone that's released from the posterior pituitary. It causes an increase in permeability of the distal convoluted tubule in the kidney and the collecting duct, causing increased water retention uh, through V2 vasopressin 2 receptors. There are V1 or vasopressin 1 receptors present in the smooth muscle of arterial or walls, and stimulation of these causes smooth muscle contraction and vasoconstriction. Vasopressin is an important mediator in the restoration of blood pressure in hypovolemic shock. Higher doses of vasopressin cause splanchnic and peripheral vasoconstriction, and vasopressin is sometimes used as a treatment for bleeding esophageal varices. In patients with sepsis, um, vasopressin is used to augment noradrenaline in patients who are responding poorly to it. It's run at a fixed rate of 0.04 units per minute, and our standard concentration is to make up 60 units uh, in a total volume of 60 mils with saline. Uh, this is run at 2.4 mils an hour, giving a rate of 0.04 units per minute. So vasopressin is a second line agent that is used to uh, assist in restoring blood pressure in patients with severe sepsis. Monitoring the effects of 
new inotropic support or changes in inotropic support is of course vital. Uh, the aim of inotropic support is to increase organ perfusion and oxygenation and uh, by that either uh, reduce or minimise uh, end or organ damage through mediate via hypotension. Generally a target mean arterial pressure is 60 to 65 millimetres of mercury. The patient's baseline um, blood pressure should be taken into account. Of course, as uh, patients who are hypertensive may need a higher mean arterial pressure to achieve the same organ perfusion goals. Um, serum lactate is the most widely used biomarker to uh, assess effectiveness of resuscitation. Um, a falling lactate is generally assumed to indicate uh, improving tissue perfusion. Clinical examination is important too, as excessive vasoconstrictions can occur with uh, noradrenaline and vasopressin in particular, I, and this is most important or most common in patients with pre-existing peripheral vascular disease, so monitoring the perfusion of the um, uh, fingers and the toes is uh, absolutely critical. Uh, urine output can be a useful indicator of organ perfusion, but of course this is only the case if a, a significant acute kidney injury is not already present, as uh, in this case uh, oliguria will not respond to uh, improved blood pressure. This slide simply graphically illustrates the generalised effects of the different inotropes we've been talking about, with uh, dobutamine at the bottom of the list causing the greatest increase in cardiac output and the having the least effect on SVR, and of the agents we've talked about, uh, vasopressin causing the greatest increase in SVR and also the greatest uh, reduction in cardiac output. I haven't mentioned uh, dopamine in this um, presentation because it is no longer in widespread uh, use, certainly in the United Kingdom. Um, it does uh, have significant inotropic effects, but it's associated with more side effects than uh, the other inotropes. And there's no evidence that it had has the uh, renal protective effect that it was uh, used for in the past. And I also haven't mentioned phenylephrine on this list because it's not uh, in common use in UK critical care.